Well, the first Republican debate of the 2024 presidential race, it starts tonight. Yeah, but what's interesting and jarring, perhaps, is the candidate dominating the GOP field won't be there. Former President Trump announced Sunday he's skipping tonight's debate in Milwaukee. Instead, he taped an interview with former Fox News host Tucker Carlson that is set to stream during the event. And in announcing that he won't be taking, a, taking part in the debate, uh, former President Trump cited a recent CBS News poll showing he's leading everyone you see there on the screens, all of his Republican rivals, by 46 points or more. Despite Trump's absence, eight of these rivals will be participating in the debate. The event is expected to last two hours. It kicks off at 9 p.m. Eastern time. Well, joining us now from Milwaukee is CBS News chief election and campaign correspondent Robert Costa. Robert, talk to us about the atmosphere there. How do you expect that the candidates will position themselves tonight? Good to be with both of you from here in Milwaukee. All of the contenders are planning for tonight to make their mark to try to get some traction in this race because the former president's not going to be there. It enables them potentially to have an audience nationally and make their own pitch to Republican voters. Joining me here in Milwaukee is Devin O'Malley. He's a top advisor to former Vice President Mike Pence and a spokesperson for his campaign. Devin, you're a veteran in Republican politics. The former president's not on stage. For Vice President Pence, for the former VP, Having his old boss not there, does that give him an opening to do what? What does he want to do tonight, especially with Trump's absence? Yeah, it's good to be with you, Robert. Uh, tonight is all about uh, contrast, right? Uh, I like to tell people that uh, Mike Pence has unmatched uh, experience, uh, uncommon character, uh, and he's ready on day one. A lot of candidates might have one or two of those, uh, you know, one quality, but Mike Pence has the whole package. And so he's going to contrast that leadership. He's going to contrast that character. And, and uh, he's going to contrast the fact that he's been the most consistent conservative in this race. When you use the word contrast, Devin, what about contrast on policy? Could there be a real point of tension potentially tonight on the issue of Ukraine and how the U.S. foreign policy should be shaped? Uh, Robert, I think there's going to be a lot of tension on a, a, a number of issues. Uh, Mike Pence has, has been the most conservative uh, candidate in the race on uh, supporting uh, Ukraine. Uh, he's been the most uh, conservative candidate on the issue uh, of life. Uh, he's been the most conservative candidate uh, on uh, spending and, and entitlements. He's the only candidate, or he's the first candidate, rather, that put out uh, an actual plan uh, to solve our inflation crisis right now that we've had underneath Joe Biden. And so uh, he's looking hes looking forward, I think, to, to showing that he's the, the serious candidate in the room that's ready to do the job on day one. He's so known, but yet not known in some ways, about who he really is on policy, politically. Who's his audience tonight? Yes, it's a national audience of many Republican voters, but when your campaign is preparing for this debate and talking with him, what's the real audience in your view? Well, I mean, I, I think that uh, I think that we're we're talking to people who uh, sit down at the kitchen table every night and they're struggling. Uh, inflation is up uh, almost 17 percent since Joe Biden took office. Uh, eggs and, and chicken and, and your your basic uh, you know staples are, are up uh, five, six, seven percent. Uh, and we're talking to them and connecting with them to show that, you know, Mike Pence understands the struggles that, uh, that they're going through. Uh, and he, you know, has the, the serious credentials to tackle those, those problems. When it comes to the January 6th question, how do you expect him to handle it? Uh, I think I'm, I think he'll handle it just fine. This is a, a question that uh, comes up not not frequently when we're out on the road. Uh, people, like I said, are, are much more focused on on the kitchen table issues. Uh, but but uh, I think he's going to be uh, he's going to deliver a, a serious, sober uh, and strong answer that that on January 6th, he upheld his duty to the Constitution. Uh, and, you know, other candidates in the race, frankly, haven't really uh, they've taken a number of sides on this issue. They've been wishy washy on it. Uh, and, and it is only until recently, uh, the January 6th indictment, that, that some candidates finally started to come out and, and say that, uh, you know, January 6th was a, was a tragic day in the, in the history of our country. And so we're, we're looking forward to that contrast as well. As someone who's read quite a few books, interviewed the former vice president over the years, he's a former debater, did high school debate, has been in a lot of debates in over 20, 30 years in politics. I know it's a private deliberation, but take us inside debate prep for the Pence campaign. Uh, yeah, I mean, as you know, Robert, uh, the, the vice president debated both uh, Vice President Kamala Harris and, and Tim Kaine. 
uh, won both of those debates. This debate is a little bit different. There's a, a few more candidates uh, on the stage. And so it's just, you know, getting a familiarity uh, with the chaos, uh, I think, that comes with having multiple candidates on the stage. You know, I think a lot of these uh, campaigns are game planning uh, that they'll probably, you know, have maybe five to seven minutes to talk. And so you've got to really be, you know, assert yourself and, and, and fight for that time. Devin O'Malley, advisor to former Vice President Mike Pence, who will be on stage tonight. Thanks for being here with CBS News in Milwaukee. Back to you both in the studio. All right. Robert Costa and Devin O'Malley, thanks to you both.